All right, we are on. It is creativity challenge day number seven. And today I'm going to bring you something a little different. Uh, so I love creating and working with frameworks. And I have written, I published three books and I've written at least six, maybe seven. Uh, and one of the books that I've written that I haven't published yet is on transformational festivals, right? Um, and so I thought I'd share a framework that I've created around the way that people engage with the transformational festival. And the headline I've got on, this is just a piece of work I've like whipped up at some point and haven't really fully developed yet. Um, but it's it's a creative piece. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this is a different form of creativity, creating frameworks that allow us to engage with reality and support our growth and expansion, right? So the headline I've put on this particular piece of work is Transformational Festivals, an Antidote to the Age of Distraction. Because I don't know if you've been to a Transformational Festival or a Conscious Festival, Generally, people aren't on their phones at all. They're often in locations where there isn't actually any Wi-Fi or cell for a start. And people are very much orientated to being present and being in the flow of whatever is unfolding around them and with them. So they might be at workshops, they might be on a dance floor, they might be dropped into a conversation, but it, there's a real sense of being present with what is, right? So there's an opportunity to orientate to reality in a different kind of way when you're at a transformational festival, which is the bomb and it's, oh my God, it's so magical, so expansive. And when I was writing this book, which I've done like two drafts um, of so far, I've got feedback from beta readers, I might rework it, who knows, I might rework it and get it out there. Um, but one of the things that I was exploring was how can we unlock the gifts of the Transformational Festival and apply those to how we operate in the regular mundane world, right? Because if you've been to a Transformational Festival, you'll know that you feel different when you're there, that the way that people connect with each other is different. And how do you maintain that? How do you bring that into daily, regular life? So as part of that body of work, I created this nine-step kind of framework that has nine categories, and those are broken into three kind of realms, right? So let me go through the nine first, and then we'll do how they break up into the three realms. So the first stage of engaging with festivals is one, the complainer. This is the person that complains about festivals or tears it down and may or may not attend. So it's someone that's like, oh my God, conscious festivals, you know, or someone that goes to the festival and they're just like, oh my God, dirty hippies and da da da, runny run, blah, um, So they're in this place of like, still rejecting or pushing away or being skeptical or just like nah don't want to go there right so that's the first level of engagement and i put that on because this person is aware of the festivals so they're actually engaging with it and a part of them is attracted to otherwise they wouldn't be at it or they wouldn't be directing energy toward it in the form of complaining all right the consumer number two the consumer is someone who goes to the festival and consumes. They consume the music and the workshops and they go to the market stalls and the food and they just like, and ha you know, that's their relationship to the festival and what's going on, they consume. Third level is the connector. So this person goes to the festival and really connects with people. So when they go up and they order their food, etc., they're not just taking it and consuming it, they might have a really connecting conversation with the person who's making the food, okay? Uh, fourth stage. Actually, let's break that down. So one, two, three, the complainer, the consumer, and the connector. This is the mastery of personal engagement level. This is the consumer zone level. So you start with being a complainer, then you move into consuming, then you become a connector. And then you kind of graduate that level and go into the next realm, right? And sometimes we're overlapping. We might be complaining 20% of the time, consuming, maybe 60 70 percent of the time and maybe connecting 10 percent of the time right so they're not it's it's not completely hierarchical and they overlap right all right so now we move into the next realm the next zone and we kick off with the contributor this is someone who attends the festival and adds value 
whether formally, so maybe they're volunteering, or informally, doing what's needed. This is the person that notices that the sign's fallen over, and so they'll pick it up and rearrange it. This is the person that notices that there's a kid crying, and they're like, oh, this kid's lost their parent, and so they'll be present and contribute. So a contributor is just either formally volunteering, for example, or informally just finding ways to contribute. Then we move into a collaborator. A collaborator is attending the festival and works with others to make the experience better. So the collaborator might be the person who organizes base camp for a group of people. They'll be like, let's go together and let's do this and let's have a flag so we can find each other and they're collaborating with all of their friends to make it really amazing, right? So now we're into the collaborator. Then we move into the catalyst. This is someone who attends the festival and inspires others or the space, they catalyze things. So for example, this might be the first person on the dance floor when everyone's feeling a little bit shy and it catalyzes everyone else to get on the dance floor. Okay, It might be if you're all chilling around the fire late at night, the catalyst is the person that starts to drum on something and catalyzes the drumming to unfold. Or maybe you're all standing in line waiting to go to the bathroom, which happens, and the catalyzer is the one that will start a collective song or the conversation, right? They're catalyzing things. So this is the zone, the second zone as such, and this is the mastery of interpersonal engagement, the contributor zone, where you go from being a contributor to being a collaborator to being a catalyst, right? And then we go to the next stage. This is creator. Get stuck in and create something. A space, a presentation, a performance, right? So this is someone who might have a formal role, they often do. It's like they're in charge of creating that particular zone or they're in charge of delivering the workshop or they're in charge of the performer. So they're a creator. Next one, this is number eight, is the conductor. The conductor is supporting other people to create and contribute. So the person who is, for example, managing the volunteers, they are a conductor because they're conducting all of the volunteers to create and contribute, okay? Um, and the con like if someone is running a zone, okay, yeah, like yes, they're creating the zone, but if they're actually working with all of the other people to really get it off the ground, they're probably a conductor as well. So the difference between a creator and a conductor is that a creator is really just doing they're not managing other people, they're not working with other people, but the conductor is creating something that works with other people. And then finally, we have the composer, right? The composer in the festival is someone who visions and directs energy overall. And this is often the visionary of the festival, like I just went to Enliven Festival, so Michaela is like the composer. She won't be the only composer there, and that composer is not always a formal role. There are some people that will show up at a festival and hold visions for things and direct energy overall, but kind of be uh, unseen in that, you see. So the creator, the conductor, and the composer, we're now in the mastery of transpersonal engagement, where you're working with the overall energies beyond the individual people, right? So I love this framework. Like I say, I haven't really done anything with it. I'm not going super in depth here. So a real brief summary, there's three zones, the mastery of personal engagement, which is a consumer zone where you're mostly consuming, the mastery of interpersonal engagement, which is a contributor zone where now you're contributing into it, and the mastery of transpersonal engagement, which is the creator zone where you're creating things. And like I said, people will shift and move between the different levels, but in general it is, you know, you do kind of move up. You might start as a complainer because you're like, oh my God, they could do that so much better. And oh my God, I can't believe they're doing it that way. But then you might start to go, oh, maybe I should contribute so it gets done better. And then you start to contribute and add value. And then maybe you offer to do something so you become a creator and then maybe you become a conductor and then you become a composer, you know. So that is my creativity thing for today. 
um, a framework for how people engage with the Transformational Festival. And my sense is, is that when you apply it to a festival and you go into a festival and you consciously identify where you are and you start to level yourself up every time you go to a festival, then the next question is, how do you take that into the daily mundane world? How do you shift out of being a complainer of what is happening up into a consumer? How do you shift out of being a consumer up into a connector? And then how do you start to contribute to the more beautiful world you know is possible? How do you become a collaborator? How do you become the catalyst for the more beautiful world? How do you start to really create, conduct, and then compose that more beautiful world? All right, that's me, day number seven, looking at creating frameworks. I love this stuff. Blessings to you all.